Okay, so I'm off on a three day trip. Pretty pumped about this one, been planning for a little bit. Anyways, the water's high, so this is the only reason I can do this river. Otherwise, there'd be lots of carryovers, lots of portaging. Let's get going. First cast, cut a large mouth. See, it's beautiful. Unbelievable. Okay, so I've arrived. Wasn't too bad of a drive up here, but I made it to the boat launch. So uh, let's get the pickle off and into the water and get ready. Beautiful day, so let's uh, let's get going. Okay, and we're officially off. River looks pretty nice so far. Okay, so now we are on Mud Lake and uh, we head into the, the Mississippi. Mud Lake's part of Mississippi. And then uh, it won't be long, maybe uh, seven or eight kilometers, and then I will hit uh, the rapids uh, heading into Crotch. I will portage around that. The water's pretty high, so I don't think I'll have to do a lot of other portaging. There will be some beaver downs probably, that kind of stuff, but for the most part, I think we're gonna be okay. It's beautiful there. I've never actually been to this part. I've driven by it tons of times. But I never actually dropped the canoe and actually uh, went in. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, let's get motoring. Whew, all right, finally made it. <laughs> that last portage is a little bit of a, a tough one, but we made it. Let's check out the site uh, and get everything set up. But uh, yeah, I'm glad we made it. A little tougher than I thought, but uh, hey, got a good exercise out of it. So I'm pretty happy with the site. Got to check it out. The rapids are right over there. You can probably hear them. I'm not sure if you can hear me very well, but beautiful spot. Not a good spot to to uh, bring the canoe up to but other than that really really nice spot so got to figure out a spot to put the tent there's a couple options but nothing great it's supposed to rain tomorrow so I wanted to put uh, the tent under some kind of tree cover so that I can set up the tarp but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen so that's okay I'll have to figure something out I kind of want to be over here behind me because it's kind of a neat spot be kind of cool you can kind of see the rapids also see the water but we'll see, it's kind of exposed. Not expecting a lot of wind, but who knows? We'll see. Right when I got here, I saw a crane right by the rapids. So I dropped everything and started uh, filming. He saw me at one point, he stared right at me. Anyways, he caught a couple of fish, he was doing pretty good. I was probably there for about 25 minutes. I had, I had stuff to do around here, but man, I love cranes. I think they're so cool. 
and they're fantastic at fishing. They're really good. Okay, so let's get started. If you're enjoying this video, please uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to grow the channel and uh, the more people that watch, hey, that's great. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, that's okay too. Good thing about this site is that uh, whoever was here before me left me some wood, so that's pretty good. So I might go collect a little bit more later on, but I think I'll have enough for dinner and for the uh, campfire tonight. Must be lucky. Whoever you are, thank you very much. I'll try to do the same as I leave. I don't burn it off. So, one of the things I love about uh, camping is campfires. Normally I always use the ferro rod. It took me a while to get used to it, but I'm pretty good at it with a little bit of birch bark, which I found. However, on this trip, my son came up with the idea of the uh, lint in the toilet paper roll. Now, I knew about this idea already. I've actually tried it. But he was pretty excited and he said, hey, you want to try this? I'm like, absolutely, dude. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. I got him to explain how it all works and all that kind of stuff. So I told him I would use it on my first, uh, my next campfire, which is today. So uh, we're gonna try it out and hopefully it uh, it works okay. If it doesn't, it's not my fault, it's his fault. Am I right? Okay, let's give it a try. Figure while the fire is kind of dying down, we'll do a little fishing. Saw a big one jump. Not towards me, of course. Gotta make sure you bleed the sausage, right? No? Actually, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do it. Like that, but I always do it. I know people are saying, you're letting the juices out. Maybe. My sauce is not yours. Stop 
worrying about my sausage so much. Sausage is pretty good. I went to the butcher uh, yesterday and I said, uh, go on camping, I need something. He's like, go get a steak. I'm like, you know what, I do steak a lot. I'm gonna change it up. He's like, tell you what, we just got some fantastic sausages in. He sold me on the sausages. I asked for one spicy and one mild Italian. I don't do spicy well. I think the first one's spicy. Anyways, he said, you want me to wrap them separately? I don't know, I wanna be surprised. You know what? Anyway, sausages are always a, a decent uh, go-to meal while camping. Pretty simple. I put too much mustard. Pretty good. Secret for me, well everyone when they're cooking a campfire, let that fire die down. I'm finally really getting the, the hang of it. I'm not very patient, but today I let it die down. I thought I let it die down too much, but it'll work. Cook the sausages perfect. All right, well, get the sausages going. Got two of them, finish them up, and then uh, get the campfire going. Maybe do some fishing. I'm not sure. I might get in the canoe again. We'll see. Got lots to explore tomorrow, so that's pretty good. This was a good day. I didn't get a lot done. It was uh, a lot of uh, a lot of paddling today. Longer that day than normal. I normally have to get to the camp a little bit early, but hey, this was a little bit more of an adventure, so that was kind of cool. Um, I'm absolutely exhausted now from all the paddling, so that's good. I'll, I should I should sleep well. So I'll enjoy the fire for a little bit, and then tomorrow we don't really have a big day. There's no real big plans. Going to do some fishing. Going to explore the, uh, the lake a little bit. Um, hopefully uh, catch a fish and maybe do a, a fish fry as a, as a shore lunch. If not, I got other stuff just in case. But uh, yeah, that should be good. So this was good. Beautiful spot. I'm hoping the uh, sound of the rushing water puts me to sleep really well. All right, see you tomorrow. Good morning. Do I smell pancakes? Do you guys smell pancakes? Of course not. If I want pancakes, I gotta make them myself. Let's make some pancakes. Oh, my old bones. Oh, pancakes. Here come pancakes. First we make coffee.
turned out pretty well. I didn't burn them this time. A lot of times, that's what I do. I think I put too much maple syrup on it, if that's possible. Is it possible? No, no. Definitely put way too much maple syrup. I always like making them with blueberries in a can. Anyways, gonna finish this up. Got a couple things to do around camp and then we're heading out on the uh, water. Gonna do some fishing. Hoping to catch a fish I can do a shore lunch, but we'll uh, see how that goes. But I wanna explore a couple different places. I need to collect more firewood as well, so. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy this and then now uh, we'll get to work. So sure enough, I just turned the uh, camera off and started paddling a little bit and decided to fish in a different spot. Looks like there was a big drop off and I caught a pike. So I'm probably gonna tell myself I'm not recording anything and then I'm gonna catch some stuff. But then when I'm recording, I'm not gonna catch anything. Anyways. The idea here is to catch something, to have a shore lunch. We'll see. That bike was way too big for me. Just one person anyway, so put up a good fight though. Released and hopefully safe. So I just pulled over. It's getting actually pretty windy out there. I don't have good luck with this uh, lake and wind. Anyways, I pulled over here. I'm going to do some uh, searching for some wood. As I was coming in, I saw a couple spots that would work. Uh, it's actually pretty nice out here. If it wasn't for the wind, it's not too, too hot. Uh, no other real boat traffic or anybody else around. So that's kind of neat. So anyways, let's check out here and then, uh, yeah, we can uh, get back in the boat, do some fishing.
Oh man, <laughs> it's hot. I think I'm done. I got enough wood. I think I should be good. There's some more on another spot on the way back in that I might stop if I need some more. Anyways, I'm not sure what these are down here. Are these uh, winter green with the red berries? I'm not going to try it because I don't know well enough. Like I said, used to be a city kid. Well, I'm still a city kid, so I don't really know all this stuff. Uh, on my phone, I have one of those apps that identifies everything, but uh, phone's over at the uh, at the boat, so I'm pretty deep in the woods right here. So, anyways, I'm not too sure. They look like they could be, but they could be something poisonous too. So I ain't going to touch it. Maybe I'm missing out. I don't know. I'd, I'd go for some wild blueberries, right? Even though I had some regular blueberries for my breakfast, but yeah. Okay, uh, let's load the canoe, do some fishing. And uh, keep exploring. Oh man, it's hot. Looking for wood is tough work. Anyways, on my uh, my path here, I stumbled across this campfire, as you can see. <laughs> Very weird place for it. I'm not too sure this would make a good uh, camp place, campsite. But I guess if you needed a uh, fire, yeah, good for good for you. Hasn't been used in a long, long time. Lots of stuff overgrown. But uh, yeah, maybe I'm the uh, first to discover this after a long time. So I think that's kind of cool. But uh, that's how you uh, discover new things, right? When you're going into the uh, into the forest, into the bush. Anyways, good for them for using uh, uh, stones and uh, rocks to make a campfire. All right, the boat's loaded up, ready to go. Uh, gonna head back, we've got a while to go, and then uh, do some fishing on the way. Maybe we'll check out some other places, we'll see. I think we're good enough for wood now though. All right, let's stop sweating. supposed to be bass small and largemouth bass there's obviously pike and the smaller <laughs> that was the smallest uh, bass I've seen They're literally about that big and I wasn't gonna keep them but that's pretty funny uh, and it's supposed to be walleye in here musky yeah so lots of different things in here that was funny <laughs> so caught the one fish didn't keep it uh it was uh, too big and then uh, i haven't caught anything else out there so we're headed back and uh i'll do a little bit of fishing at the site hopefully uh i can catch something there was lots of stuff jumping yesterday so i'm hoping that'll work i'm not sure
Oh man, it smells so good. Nothing like a fresh fish fry. This is a bass that I caught right here at the campsite. Uh, looked pretty clean, no worms or anything like that, so we're all good. Uh, it was a pretty good size, not too too big, not too small. So I, I really suck at cleaning fish, to be honest with you. Um, I kind of, I'm all over the place. Um, that's why the pieces are so small. I was trying to get nice fillets, but I just couldn't do it. So I just chopped them up into small pieces because that's what I got off the fish. So, oh well, there's nothing you can do. It still tastes the same. Clouds are rolling in. Not too sure if it's going to rain. Um, I might set up the tarp. I might not. I've never actually had that uh, that tent in a really good downpour. So maybe I want to give it a try to see uh, how it uh, is for waterproofing. Otherwise, I really like that tent. So maybe maybe it's good for waterproofing. Who knows? All right, gonna finish this. picked up the uh, bushcraft bible if you will a little while ago so this is what we call foreshadowing because i'm reading this book of course i'm either going to become the world's greatest bushcrafter or going to die a horrible bushcraft death you choose like choose your own adventure anyways i am going to do a little bit more bushcrafting stuff it's something that uh i'm not very good at but it's something i wanted to give a try uh i'll have specific rules that i follow when i do it but uh, a couple little things. I have a friend who has uh, some land, and he's agreed to let me uh, build some stuff out there. So just simple lean-tos or something. Something simple that I can set up and build and practice, screw up, fix it, that kind of stuff. And then eventually have a couple uh, nights camping out there. Uh, if that's the idea. It might not happen because I am not very bush crafty, shall you say. But you know what? I want to give it a try. It doesn't hurt. You know when people say, you know what, you've collected that firewood, you cut it up, you, you gathered it, you're getting it ready for the campfire, is way more fulfilling than coming to a campsite and having people left wood for you. I mean, this is the stuff you've worked for. Other stuff is just luck, it's just there. Well, I actually prefer the just there sometimes. Yeah, this was a lot of work getting this in the heat, but uh, had to get done, so. Next time, if somebody else wants to drop off on the second day, that'd be fantastic too. And anyways, I always appreciate when uh, someone leaves some firewood for me. So I will do the same. I don't think I'll burn all of this tonight. Yeah, we'll see. Oh. So I'm trying something different today. I uh, have my... Uh, freeze dry or dehydrated stuff. But I bought this container. I actually say, have the same container for my coffee mug. But the idea with this is that you could put your dehydrated food in there. And then once you seal it up, you're good to go. I 
I tried it before, it worked pretty well. So I'm gonna just give this a stir, then we'll uh, cover it up and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it just started raining just as it was finished dan finishing dinner, so go figure. Anyways, we should be good. I'm interested to see how that tent uh, holds up in the rain. It seems to die down right now though, but some dark clouds roll in, but I don't think it's going to storm, so it should be okay. should be all good. Going to enjoy this fire for a little bit, as long as the rain holds off, and then uh, yeah, head to bed. Well, I was too tired to do any more fishing. I was gonna get it back out on the boat. I really like getting out on the uh, canoe at this time of night. It's around nine o'clock right now, but uh, I'm dying here. It was so hot. I can't wait for uh, fall camping. It's uh, it's uh, late to summer, late summer, midsummer, I guess. I don't know, but still really, really hot and still. Uh, the humidity is really bad and it's not even really a hot day today, but going through a lot of water I'm glad I filter my own water. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble So so far pretty good trip I uh, I find this one a pretty interesting one because I did a lot of research I asked a lot of people how to get up and down the Mississippi um, It's not a straightforward river. I didn't do the full thing obviously uh, I just did uh, nine maybe ten kilometers of it and it was good. Uh, some difficult parts, but for the most part, I think it was pretty good. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I I'm glad I tried it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's fantastic that it, it releases here into the uh, the crotch crotch lake. So that's pretty good. Oh, so I'm in no rush tomorrow when I wake up. I'm going back out the same way I came in. Good to get a good paddle, especially if I get out here in the morning. I think that'll be pretty good. So. Uh, yeah, it'll be good. This was a fun trip. The um, this lake is really beautiful. Uh, when it's windy, it's kind of tough, but when it's not windy, it's a really beautiful lake. Very clear water. I didn't do any swimming this time. Fortunately, you guys didn't have to see me uh, in my speedo, so that's always good. And. Uh, had some fun, did a little bit of fishing. It was really wavy today. Uh, the winds were, were picking up. Uh, got some luck here back at the campsite. And I caught uh, a couple uh, a couple large mouth bass and one small and a perch. Um, anyways, I cooked up the uh, one of the, uh, the bass. Uh, it seemed good. I know some people are a little skeptical about eating bass. I've had it before, no problems. It uh, depends on where you get it. This lake is nice and clean. It's a big, big, big lake. It's a cold lake. Uh, I think it's pretty decent. It's not, uh, there was no problem. I looked specifically for worms and stuff like that, but everything, everything seemed fine. So. And it tasted amazing. There's nothing like a, a lunch right after catching a fish. Fantastic. Oh, I'm beat though. This heat really has gotten to me. I know we're in uh, just past in summer, I think. Yeah, we are. Um, fall's coming up, and I can't wait for fall. I absolutely love fall camping. It's one of my favorite things uh, to enjoy. You can actually enjoy a fire without uh, getting too hot. I'm trying to heat this fire down a little bit uh, so it doesn't uh, really heat me up. But I like a big campfire. If you watch my channel at all, you know that I like it. All right, gonna enjoy this and then uh, head to bed. It seems to be starting to rain again, so we'll see. I don't think it's gonna be overly bad. Could be famous last words, but uh, yeah, we'll see.
<sighs> See you in the morning. Oh, good morning. It rained last night. That was a little too bad though. All right, let's get going. Bugs have found me. They found me this morning. I'm not sure if they're out more because of the rain last night. Could be. It didn't rain too much, but uh, at times it was fairly heavy. Uh, it was a good test for the tent, no leaking, so that's good. Oh, oh, slept pretty well. I'm still tired. Oh, I tell if it's overcast. It's still early, so maybe most of this is going to burn off. I'm not sure. Oh, all right. Going to have some breakfast. We got a tear down today. Oh, that's the worst part, isn't it? Tear down. Uh, Means the trip's coming to an end. That's no fun. No. Oh, glad I get to enjoy this view for a little bit longer. That's always good. So. All right. I can see bugs are crawling a little length, so that means I should probably get. Them. Oh boy. All right. Just having oatmeal and some coffee today. Gonna eat it quick because the bugs are all over the place. Got a good mixture of mosquitoes and I don't know where are these little gnat flies, like I think they call them. I'm not too sure. Anyways, we'll do uh, a quick breakfast. Just had to boil some water, so that's pretty good. Didn't put anything extra in the open up finish right now. So it was a pretty good trip overall. Um, did enough paddling on the lake here. That was good. I wanted to do a bit more yesterday, but the winds really picked up. Got to do some fishing, had a uh, fish fry, that's not too bad, beautiful campfires, beautiful area, can't ask for much more. I wanted to see a little bit more wildlife, but hey, chances are on my way out, I'll see a little bit more wildlife. Okay, so I'm going to tear down. Anyways, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you watching the video, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time if these uh, flies don't get me. These can't eat people, right?